Hi, I'm Paul Cellini and I'm Director of Marketing and Resourcing at Liquid Personnel. Um, what advice would I give to managers looking to engage temporary social workers? Um, I would advise managers first and foremost to bear in mind candidates' availability. Um, many candidates that you invite for interview are already going to be in full-time roles, so interview arrangements need to have some flexibility. Uh, offering a fixed time and date might be unrealistic and actually given a choice of interview slots or ideally asking for the candidate's availability first is far more practical, far more likely to be accessible for the candidate. Um, I'd also say to bear in mind notice periods and try to be flexible with those where possible. So some candidates are extremely diligent and although they might not have to give any notice in their role, they might want to give, for example, a week or two to allow them to clear up any loose ends, give a really strong handover uh, to their successor. And that's a sign of a really conscientious and professional worker. Um, finally, and probably most importantly, I'd say promote your organisation in interviews. Uh, tell candidates what sets you apart and why they should want to work with you. Um, you're interviewing the candidate, of course, but I think a lot of people forget that the candidate is also interviewing you and interviewing your organisation. Social workers are going to often have several options on the table and the one that appeals to them most or impresses them most will be the one that's most likely for them to take. So what does good look like when hiring managers recruit? Um, timely feedback and quick reactions are so important. So at Liquid, we make it our business as recruiters to be extremely reactive um, and responsive in order to get quality candidates in front of hiring managers as quickly as possible. Um, that system works best when you can do the same. So if you place an order for staff via Commensura on Thursday morning, for example, and receive five CVs from us later on that day, but you don't review them or feed back to us until early the following week, there's a very good chance you might have missed out on the majority or all of those candidates. So hiring managers that review and respond quickly are the ones that tend to secure interviews for the best candidates quickly. So what doesn't work as well when hiring managers recruit? Um, well, detail is always helpful. So blanket responses and vague feedback, such as we want more CVs for this role, don't give us enough information to go on as recruiters. Um, if we've already sent CVs to a role for your consideration, and a client tells us they need more, then there must be a clear reason that the ones we've already sent aren't good enough or aren't right. Um, so rather than ask for more, tell us why. Um, tell us what you need that's different and we'll make sure we find the right candidates. It should be a case of finding quality, not quantity. Um, and that applies to the information provided within job vacancies too. So we understand that time is extremely tight resource, uh, but the more quality information that you can provide about a role, the better, especially in terms of a specific location, uh, team, experience required, um, and the job duties. If you're a large county council, for example, you might have staff based in different towns across the county, many miles apart, and knowing where a role is based might make the difference as to whether a candidate will even apply or whether they can take on the role or not.